Let's look at adding a feedback template to your Moodle course. Adding feedback to your Moodle course is as simple as turning on editing and then scrolling down to the topic that you want to add the feedback to, clicking on activity and selecting feedback. Once you've added feedback to your topic, essentially what you've done is created a shell and then you need to populate it with information for the students to follow. What you need to do is give it a name, which is the hyperlink. What you also then need to do is create a description, and that's essentially details or information about the feedback that you're providing. Uh, the more information you can give, the better there. If you'd like to, you can um, add feedback so when students can access it or when they can't access it. And most important is after submitting. And this area is where you can add feedback or send them to other areas once they've completed it. Then it's as simple as saving and returning to course. Now that we've created our feedback form, we need to add some questions to it. Simply click on the link. Moodle will show you what the pre-instructions are, what the student will see after they've completed the feedback form and then all you need to do is simply click on templates and that will take you to the next section. Now that Moodle's taken us to the next section it's as simple as adding a template. Click the drop down, select the template that you want and select use this template. Once that happens Moodle will give you these questions. Simply um, select save changes and what you'll see next is a preview of how um, the questions are laid out. If you need to, you can adjust those. Let's look at what a student will see once it comes time for them to complete their feedback. They'll click on the link that you've supplied, they'll read the instructions and then simply click on answer the questions and they'll see all the questions laid out. You'll notice that the questions have been selected using the radio buttons, but you can use a drop-down format if required. We've also provided three questions as per our corporate template for longer answers. Once the student has completed that, they'll click the Submit the Answers button. Then they'll be brought to the final page, which again has been set up as part of the template. If you need any further advice or assistance, don't hesitate to contact Learning Innovation on 6525.